is David Jack, <clears throat> Superintendent of Schools here in Fauquier County with another edition of One Hard Question. This week's hard question comes from Megan, who asks, in light of the recent change in attitude at the federal level regarding zero tolerance discipline policies, is Fauquier County School Board looking at changing its policy? I've heard horror stories of minor incidents resulting in severe punishments. I've also heard from teachers who said that they, they have no discretion. Thanks, Megan. Um, this is another one of those complicated issues. Um, I've not heard anything at the federal level uh, relative to zero tolerance or a change in their their attitude towards zero tolerance, but I've heard a lot at the state level. And what the state seems to be saying is that um, in some instances, zero tolerance is sort of run amok. And we have it, incidences where around the state and in other states, um, students uh, shooting spit wads at other students through straws have been suspended for 10 days or more. Um, issues with kids doing this at other kids uh, being suspended for multiple days. Um, and, and there's other instances like that. I mean, it's zero tolerance. The idea behind zero tolerance, of course, is old, going way back is to keep weapons and um, uh, drugs, etc., out of school. And uh, for the most part, I think have been pretty successful. However, the way that the laws are written in Virginia and other states, there's not a whole lot of leeway given. So if you're not using a whole lot of common sense, and I think in Fauquier County, we use a great deal of common sense, but I can't speak for everyone around the state. So you, you hear stories and read about stories of, you know, kindergartners who bring, um, you know, a, a a pen knife or something, I, I, you know, to school being suspended for 10 days or even expelled. Uh, you hear about those stories and um, sometimes common sense needs to prevail. You know, I know in, in Fauquier County we have very, very few actual expulsions. Um, and I think our folks use common sense. There, There is some wiggle room within the zero tolerance policies within the state. Um, the school boards often do have the final say in, in instances related to uh, weapons and, and, and drugs. Drugs are much more straightforward than the weapons piece. Um, but uh, the school boards do have final say, and I think they use a great deal of common sense here in Fauquier. Now, having said that, I know the state language about zero tolerance is changing. There was a bill proposed that looks like it's going to pass House of Delegates about changing what is considered a, um, a weapon, a, a, a firearm, uh, you know, here to four, things like squirt guns, you know, and, and other things like that, inert things like that, under the letter of the law, are considered look-alike weapons, and you could get expelled for it. And but like I said, I think uh, some common sense needs to prevail. So, in answer to your question, I would suspect that if these changes in state law and the wording of some of these. Um, you know what constitutes a weapon and what doesn't. If those, if that wording changes, then our policy is going to have to change also, uh, so it matches what's going on in the state. But um, yeah, and and as far as your your comment about teachers and not having discretion, in many instances they don't. Um, if a, a kid has a lookalike weapon in, in school, for example, like a a pea shooter or a, a squirt gun or something, you know, by law they're they're to report it. And uh, or just like if some child brought in prescription medication or even non-prescription medication like Tylenol or something and had it out in the classroom, you know, by law, they're required to, to turn that into the administration. And uh, you know, they, they don't have a lot of discretion in those cases. So and that's as a result of the way the state policy is written. So sort of is what it is there. But I would expect that, yeah, there'll be some change because uh, the state policy is state law and language is changing uh, so that we sort of aren't so terribly literal when it comes to um, um, zero tolerance and what's considered zero tolerance um, items and whatnot. So anyway, hope that answers your question. And uh, thanks for the good questions and keep them coming. All right, thanks for